Greetings everybody, this is Barry from h &W Machine Repair and we're here to make another video for YouTube. Today we're going to discuss putting lube lines into a yoke that is the original Zerk machine. As you can see there's a little hole here, it's actually grease in this one like normal. Um, these were made with a hole here and a hole that went down and you would line your table up and drip your oil down through. Well if you're installing a new lube system, you're obviously going to want to put some lube lines in it. So you have two options. Um, option one is you can use the insert and as you can see on this one here this has got an insert put in it and in order to use the insert you would drill a hole. You can see this is 1764. So you would drill the hole 1764. I'm not going to do that. When we do one, we just drill to the size of the black plastic tube. Black plastic tube, it's 5 30 seconds of an inch. Okay, when you, you're gonna put your half nut in there, put it down on a surface where you can get flat, take your scale. Or you can use a depth mic if you're really fancy. Go down and mark the point where it touches the bottom, then you're gonna come up, and as you see that spot right there, okay, right to the edge, you're gonna make a mark, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go an, eighth, an extra eighth of an inch, and what that extra eighth of an inch will do is put you in the hole, the split between the two half nuts, and you mark it, and then you will tap and punch it, be ready to drill and then you will do the same thing for the other axis. At this point we're going to put our yoke in the vise. Again I said this black tube is 5 30 seconds of an inch so you, so you take a 5 30 second drill and drill through. Same thing for the Y. <laughs> As you see, it's not a real big drill or anything. Now, if you want to double check your work, get your yoke back in. And your hole will be right past where your brass piece is. And then you're good to go. The idea is when you're putting these together, you'll have about that much space between the two brass nuts and you want your hole to be right between the two. That way the oil will get down inside of the, to your screw on both spots. Okay, you have a second option on where to space your hole. You can just put the nut in and mark anywhere where the permanent nut is. Mark it, drill through the yoke and through the nut. Then you'll have to take the nut out and kind of clean up where you mark, where you drilled through. But that way you will have a permanent hole going right through the nut, right into the yoke. So that's just another option you have. So that's it. Um, I'll just real quick show you the line. Will fit right in. It, 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 you know, if you have a good sharp drill to go in, it'll stay in. There's no reason for pressing or anything. Um, occasionally, a, a used lube line will be a little thicker, so it'll be actually a little tighter fit than even this is. This is a brand new piece. So as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And everyone have a great day.